So I put some Swiffer sweeper dry cloths into my one of my hives because I had a hive beetle infestation and I wanted to see how good that they worked. I'd seen some videos online about it and here's some of the results. Now I knocked off a bunch of the bees and the little black dots are hive beetles but man these things also trapped a lot of bees and uh, we don't want that we want it to to catch the hive beetles but we don't want it to catch the bee and you can actually see some of the bees legs there where they uh, the, see the bees legs where they where there was bees on it. It, it but now it also it does catch the it does catch the hive beetles we don't want it to catch the bees. You can see here. Let me swing around over here. So you get the idea. Hive beetles are attracted to uh, shortening, to lard, to Crisco. And uh, it's an attractant for them. And these are the Swiffer cloths, I think they five or six dollars. They might that's probably a generic brand. And they some other fabric similar to it that's probably cheaper that you could get. Y'all know I love to use cricket cages for things. But here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna fill in here this in here or either in here one. Probably in here I'm gonna put I'm gonna put Crisco inside this. And I'm gonna snap this lid on here. And this in this cone will be Crisco. Then I'm gonna put the Swiffer cloth inside here on the bottom. And then I'll snap this on. And it's only the Swiffer cloth will be across here. And then I'm gonna lay this in the hive bottom down so that the hive beetles will come through here through the top to go to the Crisco and when they walk across the Swiffer cloth on the bottom we'll have this result without any bees getting in it because hive beetles can go through these holes but um, the bees can't so hopefully this will prevent this from happening and there won't be no bees they can't get in this and I'm going to put it together and we're going to put it in the hive and we'll show you the results I'm just going to take and make me a bowl I think it's easier just make me a bowl of it and drop it down in there like it just drop drop you a ball of Crisco down in there, and uh, well, I'm getting this stuff everywhere. And then I'm just gonna take a I'm gonna take a spoon and just kind of press it a little bit so that it'll stick in that comb there. So yeah. Okay, that should be a plenty. And uh, then we'll add the cloth. All right, I got the Crisco in the end of it. We just gonna take this cloth like this here and slide it in here. It's right up to the right up to the cone, and we'll lay it lay it in there like like this, and I'll snap this on there. Now, if a bee does get on the bottom here because of this wire. They can pull their self off. So there should, and then we'll snap this on, of course. Snap that on there. And this should, this will clean up real easy. You just pull your cloth out, put you a new cloth in once it gets filled up. There's your high beetle trap. Easy. Less than, take less than five minutes to do. 
Um, I'm going to put this in my freezer hive because I've got a bit of a hive beetle infestation. And uh, we'll, we'll give you an update. My new hive beetle trap. Simple and should be very effective. Thanks for watching.